Ay, hindi ako kami sa kanya. Ayan. O, kahama ko si ate. Magmamayaw ang kami. O, mag-iyaki ni Iku. This is my, ano, second part of the vlog. Have you watched the first one? What's the title? Nakalimutan ko na. O, English only, please. O, so this is the second part of that. And we'll have a challenge. Yeah. It's our challenge. So the part two is the in your, ano? <laughs> a dramatic expression. Oh, I have here Kurt, my English tutor. And we have Lloyd. Hi, Kurt is from US and Lloyd is from UK. Best of the best, Sempre. Yes, I will be representing the Philippine nation. Yes. 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 Oh, Gabe, the first idiomatic expression will be oh, from US first. What's the idiomatic expression? Oh, so, this is what we will do. You tell me the idioms, and then I'll interpret it in English the way I understand. Oh, oh, what's the first one again? That's a piece of cake. That's a piece of cake. No. What's it? That, so. You don't know? What do you wait, think? wait, Ani. Because you think you should have That's a piece of cake? Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Uh, <laughs> that is just a small portion. No. 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 Yeah. Oh, what's the meaning? It means it's easy. Ah, yeah. It's easy, no problem. Nabag. <laughs> <laughs> Next, no, 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 no. from UK. Oh. The bee's knees. The bee's knees. The bee's knees. The bee's knees. Bees knees. Teka, let me, ano. Knees. That means, there's a lot of dust. Bee's knees. It's if you're Bisaya, you say, Bee's knees? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like, it's really good. Oh. 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 Bee's knees. Next one. For America. Oh, you asked me that last name. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to know. <laughs> it's rainy cats and dogs. It's stormy. Yeah. It's stormy, but is it stormy light or is it stormy heavy? A heavy, uh, heavy storm. Uh, My virgin, um, heavy. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, you know, you have, on. Another uh, one. you have a strong chin. You have a strong chin. It means you have a big uh, chin. A bird in the hand worth two in the bush. I know, I know that. You have the bird in the hand. The bush is coming. The bird in the hand. You have to hurry up because the bus is coming. <laughs> it means like um, it's better to have something certain than try for more and fail. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm going to explain that. I'm, I'm good at that. Do it again and again. <laughs> try and try. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, the Philippines I'm... is not winning. <laughs> oh, another one. Kurt, another one. Uh, I'm going to call it a night. I, I know that. Let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go home. Let's one Philippines one. Okay. I'm just so sorry. <laughs> An arm and a leg. An arm and a leg. An leg. arm and a leg. Wait, wait, you need some context. Yeah, but if I say like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, it's... okay, okay, I'll help. That bottle of wine. Sila na nag-usap. Para pinutulungan nila. Ay, ama na. They just wanna make sure you understand. That's why. Then you know. You go home because you're drunk. An arm in the leg. Ano ba? Yip-yip naman. So what does it mean, Lloyd? An arm and a leg, it means it costs very expensive. It's a very expensive bottle of wine. It costs an arm and a leg. It means it's very expensive. Mahal lang pala po. This cool. It's expensive. 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 It's <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay, yeah, I will, yeah, 
I will drink wine if you buy it. <laughs> What's the meaning? Okay, so once in a blue moon, it means once in a blue moon, it means yeah, like once, once in a while. Once in a while. Not, not very, oh, not, not, not very oh, often. Not, Oh, you don't know that? Once in a blue moon? I know, I know. Once in a blue moon. Oh, but, but, but why did you say I drink wine? It's like you don't I'm usually... Yeah. Oh, it's just an alpha. It's part of the... I go on vacation once in a blue moon. Yeah, yeah, we know once in a blue moon, but we thought... Oh, I'm trying to get some... If I can only afford it. Because once in a blue moon... It's like... It's like they're in a vlog. Wait, wait, wait. Tek, Shem. Malabu naman siya. Talo pa rin siya. <laughs> Alright. Because... No, what You should not give me context because I'm smart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> diba? Parang pakan tayo dyan. Yeah. Yeah. Sundalan ng English mo. Don't be a dead horse. Don't be a dead horse because... Don't, so... beat, don't beat. Don't, don't beat, beat the, the, red, the, the dead don't horse. Don't, 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 don't beat the dead horse. Yeah. Uh, because he will hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> he will kick you back. He <laughs> will kick you back. Don't uh, give respect to the... to the dead people. No. If you've done something and it's, you know, you're, it's not working, don't keep trying it. Uh, know your limits. Uh, like, you just know your limits. Uh, kind of, yeah. Don't push too hard. So, uh, no. No, it means like if you if if you if, you if you've asked a question, for example, and someone said no, it's not the response you want. You uh, keep trying. It's like don't don't beat a dead horse. It's not gonna work. Ah, uh, so I can use that in the call center. Hey, don't beat the red the dead horse. <laughs> yeah, use that in call center. Don't beat the dead horse. Otherwise, I'll give you red horse. <laughs> don't beat the dead horse. Otherwise, I'll give you red horse. <laughs> Oh, next, next. Okay, that boat has sailed. That boat. Oh, I know that. Because the boat has gas. <laughs> That's why it sailed. No, you know what idioms mean, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm idiot. <laughs> I know idioms. I know idioms, but I'm idiot. Ibay nagagawa ng red one. <laughs> oh, uh, ulit, ulit. Again. Okay. Isa pa. Isa pa. That boat has sailed. Uh, let's begin now. Close. Close? No. Uh, let's do it now. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it means you missed your opportunity. Yeah. Ah. Uh, a dime, a dozen. A, a dime, a dozen. Bakit para mali yung sentence niya? A dime. A dime it does. <laughs> I'll correct your sentence. <laughs> wow! Mali siya. I'm correcting you. It's okay if you cor if it's okay if you correct his spelling, but not the grammar. Pero <laughs> mali. I will I will fight for it. A dime. Ah. You buy it for cheap. What's the meaning? That means is something very common. Like for example, if you have like a breakup and your friend's like, oh no, that girl's a dime a dozen. You can find a, a million other girls. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Yes, wow. yes. Okay. We're going so, to US now. Bigyan ko na another challenge to mama yung Filipino naman. So, bent out of shape. So if I say, why are you so bent out of shape? Why are you so bent out of shape? Well, why is it you're bent out of shape? You mean bent? <laughs> because she's overused. <laughs> okay, why are you so bent? Ah, I, I know the meaning. Why are you out of your mind. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah! Why are you upset? Why are you upset? Oh, oh yeah, like that. Well done, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Sorry, US! <laughs> yeah. Oh, the queen. God save the queen. Kaya ko yan. I'll give you an easy one. Okay. Close but no cigar. Ano daw? Close but no cigar. 
close but not. Isip pa yan ang hirap. Oh my. Then there is a small. The area is close and you're not. It means like you fell short of something. You're not sure. I'm no, sorry. you fell short. Like you got. Closer, you fell short. You got close to achieving something, but failed at the last like hurdle. You're so close. Ah, uh, so when you get the job, oh, you're. Off. You're so close to getting the job, but you yeah. still fail. Yeah. 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 Para uh, yeah. I guess yeah. there is a it's expensive before, so they will give you that opportunity to cigar. Alright, let's discuss. Alright. I'm giving you easy ones. Okay. Easy. Give it to me. <laughs> yes. Alright. I'm feeling under the weather. Oh, I know that. I'm feeling, I'm feeling under the weather. Under the weather. Tama ba yung tama ba yung ano yung tukas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. Well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why is an English teacher? Ali yung grammar niya. Kaya ako na kakamale. Ah, you're you're sick. Yeah, yeah, you're not well. That's why. Yeah, you're not well. You're pretty much the total deal from now on. You're not well. You and Sir Lucy three more. Yes. Good evening, good evening. You don't want to give me the hard one. I like hard. You don't cut the mustard. How can you cut the mustard? It's liquid. It's impossible, diba? Tanga ni Lord. You don't cut the mustard because the mustard is not solid. Because it's liquid. No, because the mustard. Like, you don't cut the mustard. It's so literal. Idioms are not meant to be made literal. They're out of context. No, it's not literally about mustard. Because my brain is just a in brain. Oh, it's not good enough. Yeah. Well, it's you're not adequate enough for something. I don't know. You're not adequate. You're not good enough for something. Ah, three, three. Oh, it's a pound. Then, pabawi si US. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Ayo, patali ni US. Kaya ko yun. Cut the cheese. Cut the cheese. Cut the cheese. Cut the cheese. Like, ooh, did you cut the cheese? Ah, it smells so bad. Yeah, why? Ah, you cut the cheese. Parang ano mo? Parang ano? Go straight to the point. Because it's yeah, because it's embarrassing. Oh my god, but why? Because you fart. Yeah, because oh yeah. Yay!